Here we go, fans. Ready for some triple threat action. Heavy Metal and Kamikaze extending their hands for a handshake. El Did you see that? El Nino <laughs> spit on his hands. And folks, if you're counting, that's the first. Did you see, hear that from martial art today? And oh, double chop. Heavy Metal, the king of the triple threat match. Kamikaze, the acrobatic psychopath. And right now, they're working in stereo on El Nino, the Sicilian assassin. And certainly, El Nino, just back from injury fairly recently, he blames a lot of his recent woes on Stevie Saint, his former tag team partner. And you have to wonder how things will shake up there. Well, Stevie now, Saint keeps cheating. He always backstabs this guy every chance he gets. Well, El Nino can't blame Stevie Saint for his current troubles. Right now, being knocked around by heavy metal, being knocked around by kamikaze, and hey, there's one for good measure from both of them. Well, he doesn't just blame Stevie Saint, he and blames some you. air guitar. It's Boom. your commentary that throws him off every time. He can hear you from outside that ring, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful double elbow drop there by Kamikaze and Heavy Metal. And Cam going for the quick cover and Heavy Metal pulls him off. And folks, we do have to remind you, Kamikaze suffered a knee injury earlier. You saw part of that in that video package. And you have to wonder if that will be slowing down the acrobatic psychopath. And so far, that does not seem to be the case. Takes a lot to slow this kid down. He can take a beating, keep on ticking. Sure does well. We're going to test that theory right now as Heavy Metal and Kamikaze exchange chops. And you know for Kamikaze, he has to be careful on that knee. So much of his offense depends on that agility, on that speed. And with his knee, I mean, he's effectively cut in half. He's trying to slap him silly here. Oh, and another one. I love it. Oh! You know how he feels right now? Because you're going to... Heavy Metal, the current number one contender for Knight's Junior Heavyweight Championship, although he hasn't yet covered it. And here we have a quick roll up. No. Two. Heavy Metal able to power out of that one and then drives the foot into Kamikaze. And El Nino takes another spill on the outside. A roll up by Kamikaze. Still not enough. Action fast and furious here. Thank you so much for joining us here on Monster Pro Wrestling Madness. Take a look at El Nino on the outside. Heavy Metal and Kamikaze. Trading exchanges on the inside, kick, and a DDT. Oh, and heavy that's metal, gonna leave a mark. Heavy Metal just planting the acrobatic psychopath, and El Nino just slips in out of nowhere. Well, that looked like it hurt to me. He drove his head right into that mat. I think he tore the mask right off this kid. And as we said earlier, Heavy Metal is the number one contender to Knight's Junior Heavyweight Championship. A Knight will actually be defending that title next week against Stevie Saint. Why Heavy Metal hasn't got his title shot yet, I don't know if Knight's ducking him or if Heavy Metal's waiting for a better opportunity. And oh, right now, El Nino had an opportunity to feel a side slam, and this one could be, no. See, these guys got the right idea. He's got some face paint, the other one's wearing a mask. You could take some advice from those guys. You know, a mask might improve your gimmick. Maybe you might even get a date. A paper bag over your head might improve your gimmick. And another cover there by Heavy Metal. See, and again, gimmick, this is a real thing. El Nino able to kick out and you give credit where credit is due. El Nino is a tough, tough hombre. No, no, you're giving me credit. Keep it up. Don't change the subject. Right away, you want to talk about wrestling again. Don't you forget you're on the Versace Biker Show. Watch the match. Think about El where Nino you are. going for a cover. Heavy Metal able to get a foot on the ropes. Kamikaze on the outside. I don't. I didn't get a good look if he's favoring that knee or not. Oh, look at the marks on his chest. Is that a handprint or is that a little face paint? Kamikaze back in the ring now, setting up oh. a nice drop kick there by the acrobatic psychopath. And if he's feeling pain in his knee, I don't see it there. Look at El Nino just clutching his head. And well, Kamikaze the adrenaline needs kicked to follow up quickly. When that adrenaline kicks in, you don't feel much for pain. Reversal there by El Nino as he tries to post oh. up. Cam oh, no! I could be wrong. And we spoke too soon. It looks like Kamikaze tweaked that knee again. And look at El Nino. Just like a shark smelling blood. He goes right after that injured limb. Oh, he's all over him like cheap Mac Tack. Blindsided by Heavy Metal. And these three triple threat matches are so dangerous. You have to have eyes in the back of your head. Cam Heavy Metal just about took El Nino's head off. And the referee was checking on Kamikaze. Didn't see it. That knee is hurt. And boy, oh boy. Heavy Metal. Stroke of bad luck for him there. He had this match won. The referee was checking on Kamikaze. Heavy Metal, though, not giving up, going for a sunset flip. And this time, El Nino able to get the shoulder up. And now he's able to take out Heavy Metal down. Well, what's he doing here? He's looking around. He should have covered him. He's got to do something. You can't play to the crowd. You want to win. You want to well, get on these right guys. Now. Referee in position. Look at him. Only a slow count. on this count. El Nino sneaking another stomp in there, and now 
Oh, man. That's why they call him the Sicilian assassin. He sees an injury, he's on it. He's not gonna stop. Oh! He's gonna tear this knee right out of this kid. He's gonna tear it off. And that's exactly what you could do. And boy, this is the sort of thing that can really shorten careers here in Monster Pro Wrestling and anything. I mean, there's a lot of delicate tendons, delicate ligaments in those knees. And for someone like Kamikaze, who's just starting out his career, I mean, you just don't want to take, take any chances. Well, that would be a big plus for the Sicilian assassin. He wants to take this kid out. That'll be on his resume after I got rid of this kid. He's done, thanks to me. El Nino dominating on heavy metal now. Takes him down. And you're right, the Sicilian assassin just picks apart his opponents. As you see Kamikaze trying to get back to his feet, really limping. And look at El Nino, he's choking heavy metal on the ropes. Hey, get your finger out of your nose here. We're on TV. You gotta learn to act like a Oh, did you see that? El Nino taking out the leg again. Here, you want a breath mint? This might help your career here a little bit. You know, people might wait, want wait, to wait, 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 wait. Watch El Nino now setting Kamikaze up and just... The Sicilian assassin just using every part of the ring, using the post, using his feet, using the ropes. Boy, oh boy. El Nino, the Sicilian assassin, does not miss a trick. Well, he does want to beat this kid up. I think he wants to get rid of him. He doesn't like him very much. El Nino may be taking out some of the frustrations he feels towards Stevie Saint on Kamikaze and Heavy Metal. Do you think Look this beef could be a little personal too, or is this just a wrestling match being professionals? I think it's a little deeper than this here. I think everything is personal here in Monster Pro Wrestling, but look at this! Double flapjack! And El Nino mashed right into the mat. These Kamikaze. guys trying to get fired up, trying to get the crowd behind them. Everybody down, see who crawls from the wreckage first. It looks like a car wreck out there. Again, Kamikaze back on his feet, but again favoring that leg as he takes down Heavy Metal with the Lariat. And now El Nino goes down as well. But again, is it enough? This kid won't quit. One leg and he's still going to the air? Kamikaze fighting on one leg and you can see him clutching that knee, but he's running on adrenaline now. But you have to wonder, will this be enough to win the match? Did you see that? Nice spin kick. El Nino knows that kick well. He's using himself in the past. And now Kamikaze setting him up. Suplex perhaps, yes. Nice move and a float over. Referee slightly out of position, but this could and again, Heavy Metal able to get the shoulder up. Where is this kid getting all this fight from? I don't know, but you have to have a lot of fight if you're going to thrive in the junior heavyweight division here at Monster Pro Wrestling. In any division in Monster Pro Wrestling. Kamikaze now sliding out to the outside, taking out some frustrations on El Nino, the Sicilian assassin. Oh, now they're taking this fight to the outside. Hey, sure, but I don't, think, I don't think you want to leave Heavy Metal unattended. Look at, Look at this. this. Trouble at 12 oh, o'clock! Oh, 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 oh my god, did he hit his head on the cement? There's no giving that! Heavy metal out of nowhere. Coming straight down on El Nino and Kamikaze. And you gotta know that chain link or that steel steps out there. Something's gonna come into play here. Sure is. Look at this. He's got three won't men quit. trying to get to their feet. Heavy Metal now, he's got to hold the acrobatic psychopath. Oh, he had to beat the count. He wants to win this in the ring here. And a cover by Heavy Metal. He wants that chair of the winner's purse here. He knows if you get a double count out, no one's getting paid. I don't Just know, like you. I don't know that there are count outs in a triple threat match. Have you seen the size of the checks I've been getting from Monster Pro? I got a huge raise. They love me here. Heavy Metal going to the top. El Nino, I think, sees the problem here. Look at this. And he sends him off. Man, he shoved his hand right up there. El Nino, again, going for the leg. He was in deep on that one. I got Setting up DDT, oh, did you see him? He just planted Kamikaze. Then for a little, he's been working on that knee of Kamikaze, and then for a little bit of variety, a little bit of spice, he planted him with the DDT. And I think you're gonna have to roll him over if you're gonna pin him, El Nino. He's gonna have the eccentric headache number five there after this. There we see, garlic press by El Nino. That's him two. That's the pasta press. And going for another one. El Nino going for lateral press after lateral press, but what he should be doing is paying attention to heavy metal. Oh, he kicks him in the bread basket. And here we go, yeah. metal meltdown perhaps, setting him up, there and he is. hits it. This, this could be it, cover him. This is it, all heavy metal needs to do is make a cover here. And what's heavy metal, maybe a bit disoriented. I don't know, I think he's having Kamikaze flashbacks and guitar shots to the head. Kamikaze dumps him onto the outside. Oh, he missed it. Look at him now. Heavy metal down. Kamikaze clutching that knee. Boy, oh boy, all three of these men will be feeling this one for some time. Kamikaze saying he wants to go up top. 
Don't know if that's a good idea at this point in the match, especially with that bum knee. We'll have to see. Kamikaze's gonna try it anyway. This kid's unbelievable, no! And there it is, Cam oh, Star Splash! Oh, oh, oh. There's heavy metal creeping in the back! And this one's it, no, heavy metal out of nowhere! What a save! Oh, and what a lariat! Oh, 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 he turned that around in a hurry. Heavy metal back in the ring, going for the cover! Three, and, and that's he it. it! Heavy metal! Still the king of the triple threat match. Heavy metal, and still the number one contender for the junior heavyweight title. And Brugs, we're gonna have to see.